Louis C. the Mayor checking in. What is going on, my people? Listen, I thought I was out, man. I thought we was coasting, nice little coasting into 2021. Today, all types of stuff develop on City Hall, so we got a whole bunch of stuff to cover. I, it took half of my day to deal with uh, with politics today, and um, we we far from done. We going 24 hours today trying to get it done. Come on in on the podcast because I need y'all today. Please let them know Louis C. the Mayor's on. Need everybody to come on here today. We're gonna talk about some things. Looking out the window uh, over here. Who is Michael knows? You know, did, did we lock down for Red Tater security protocol? Yeah. No. You know, because you never know when Red Tater uh, pull up. So I want to give a big shout out to Florida Keys Energy Lawyers, Accident Lawyers in the Keys. Go to FloridaKeysEnergy.com at 302 Southern Street. Locals taking care of locals. If you have an accident, car, moped, bicycle, or God forbid on that ocean. FloridaKeysEnergy.com after 911 will take care of you. Dr. B, Bruce Burroughs, number one doctor in the world and planets above and beyond. Advanced Urgent Care, Key West Marathon, and Key Largo, now offering affordable health care with Keys Care is only $89. And I don't know if you heard, uh, now we have the rapid testing for free. So you can go in there and get a rapid test. So it's all love there. Thank you for that. And also, my girl Rebecca, what's up? Girl, what is going on? Naughty Vapes, the number one vape shop in Key West, right across the street from the fire department, always taking care of locals and military. Huge inventory shipment just came in. And make sure you like them on Facebook on the Naughty Vapes. So coming to the show right now, doing it big. Represent Stock Island, coming straight out to Perry. This boy ain't no joke. Rank number one uh, customer service worldwide and planets above and beyond. He did it big. He did it bigger than TripAdvisor. I think he invented the, the TripAdvisor. James Keymoon. What is going on? Big time. Big time. How you doing? Hello, Louis. Very well. Thank you. Just take the mask for a moment. But the okay. protocol is still here in this show. Okay. Cleaning and uh, positivity. Who is Michael Knowles getting this thing cracking? So listen, James, uh, today you came in with me. What time you came today over to me? About 3 something? Uh, 3.30, yeah. How long uh, you see me just observing? How long would I spend doing politics stuff that got nothing to do with my scope? You, I saw you f uh, on, on, the, on the phone between business, and you, I think you say hello to me, but for two hours your phone was scotch taped to your ears. You got to make it happen. Phone die, you, you die. It's real simple. You got to have that phone activated all the time. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, rumble, young man, rumble. So what y'all think about Mike Tyson and uh, Roy Jones? What y'all think about the fight? I liked it. What y'all think? Come on in on the podcast. Hit the notification button right over here. Woo! And those of y'all watching worldwide on YouTube, there's a little box right over here. That's a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Woo! And uh, greatly appreciate it because we got a lot of stuff to, uh, to talk about. All my ladies, all my lady friends at night, all my female friends, if you like what you see, throw them hearts up right now. Ride with them hearts right now on the podcast. Mike knows you hungry, boy. You hungry. Know, people say, who eat food back there, boy? What are you all right? My man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mike, it's getting cold out there. Yeah, told me Talk that. about the weather. Let's do a roll call for the weather because uh, it's. A, I think we're like 58 or something. Yeah, we have okay. a long sleeve. Still yeah. short, but yeah. still, you know, yeah. we turn off the long sleeve. Me, yeah. Great minds think alike. So me and James, black on black. Right. You know, black on black. Like, what's that movie you like? Men in Black. Men in Black. Yeah. You know, I wish you that we had that uh, click. Forget about this year. So Mike knows I'm going to come to you right now. So right now, it's critical. I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, when they deal with... Uh, with gangster stuff on the street, Al Capone back in the day, you have to have what you call a sit down. So, you know, we're not dealing with that gangster stuff, but this stuff going on at City Hall requires a sit down. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm trying to get a sit down tomorrow with the mayor because tomorrow is more fireworks coming out of the City Hall. I thought we was going to coast into 2021. Maybe a couple of days after that, you get a vaccine, everything be highly duty, peaches and cream and one human family. But we just took eight steps backwards. So now... We back, we back at it going full throttle. Tangela Edwards. What's going on, baby girl? JC Key West, what is going on, darling? So let me know what the weather is in your city. What What's the, the temperature uh, looking like? New Year's Eve 2021 is on a Thursday this year. A lot of controversy going on. 
no matter what, they ain't never gonna stop the party down here because we we gonna keep flexing our muscles uh, like Rocky Balboa. Who is Michael? Knows what you got, Mike? All right, let's see. We got Brandon Bravo. Uh, Bravo. Who? Brandon Bravo. Yep. My man. We got Robert Anderson. Hey, Robert. Jessica Gomez. Jessica, how you doing, young lady? Throw the hearts up if you got love for me right now. John Takovich. What's up, Big John? And uh, let's see. And that's it. Okay. So right now we're going to talk about what is going down at City Hall. I need people to come in so I can make sure we get this word out because there's serious business going on. So tomorrow... There's going to be a meeting at City Hall to have a discussion about a curfew for New Year's Eve weekend. Okay, wow. I thought we already talked about curfews, but obviously there wants to be more discussion. So you all know how I feel about curfew. I don't believe in no curfew. I'm not compromising on no curfew as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I have a real big problem, huge to the ceiling problem with this because I, I don't think curfews solve anything. Matter of fact, I, I think they create uh, more uh, cases for the pandemic, and I'm going to tell you why. Big James in the building. James, give him a little intro about yourself. Well, welcome. Uh, my name is James Kimon, from, uh, originally from France. work at the Perry Hotel in Stock Island uh, as a front desk. Uh, um, and uh, over 12 years of experience in hotel business and uh, hospitality. And uh, try to be positive, but... You know, try to stay on the ring and uh, because we have guests coming and we have tourism coming. Absolutely. So let me tell you all what we need to do. I wasn't planning. I had a whole um, schedule for tomorrow. Now I had to clear my whole schedule. I will be at City Hall, rain, snow, sleet. I don't care if it's two degrees. Count me to be at City Hall sharp at five o'clock. I need all of you. If you're in the service industry and you want to continue to have a job down here and not have to move where you come from, I suggest at 5 o'clock you come down. I'm calling for the sandbar ownership to come down. I'm calling for the green room to come down. I'm calling for the Sloppy Joe's owner to come down. I'm calling for Mark Rossi to, to come down. I'm calling for Jim Gillerin to come down. Anybody, service industry and hotel association, come on down because we, we, we got to start really getting united. I will be put a group, and they're lucky I haven't really had time to get this put together called Send Key West, which is Service Industry Key West. And I want to have 3,000 strong. So like that, when voting come, 3,000 block. If, you know, if you're a little bit shaky, we'll, we'll, we'll make it all the way shaky. We'll get you from, from, from around here. We already did it in the county. And um, we, we, we have to get united because right now is, uh, is definitely not, not good. I'm not happy. Uh, James, uh, I believe this girl's name is Kendra. Uh, can you and read that? she said, curfew must eat idiotic things, period. Controlling rights in America, it's sick and solve nothing. Only sit down more people, dreams and career will be the government gets federal funds and pocket line from a shutdown. Okay, Kendra. So my, my first question to you is, did you vote in the election? And what do you do for a living and where are you at? And thank you for your comment. I'm, I'm open to listen to to uh, to everybody. So if you have a comment, should Key West be on a curfew to prevent COVID-19 for New Year's Eve weekend? What do you think? Yes or no? And why? Come on in on the podcast. Who is Michael Knowles? What you got? Uh, matter of fact, this. We got Bobby Chris. Bobby? Right. Okay. And that's it. Okay. On my side, I got Kendra. Uh, the last one that you got anybody before uh, Kendra? That's the one, Bobby Chris. Okay. Uh, if you got love for Louis C. the Mayor, my man, uh, James Keyboon, and who is Michael? No, I need you to flash the little hearts right there and let them go up the screen see what's really going on. So tomorrow, listen, I need everybody to come to City Hall um, because uh, it's definitely going to be an issue going on. So let's get to the meats and potatoes that's really going on. Um, let me see what I got. So Perry Key West Hotel, are you fully prepared and ready to accept tourism and go at 100% over there in good old Stock Island at the Perry? Are you ready? We were ready, we are ready, and we will be ready. You know, our top priority is our guest satisfaction, uh, our management, 
their employee or their tough satisfaction. You know, I wear that mask behind the front desk for eight hours. All restaurant or clean or food. Uh, to come to your point, you know, about the curfew, when you have a hotel, you know, why closing the entire hotel when one room is out of order or one or two rooms is out of order? You know, just let the guests decide, you know, uh, maybe speak to the guests at the front desk, hear their feedback. That's why the Perry does, you know, we have their, the pool open. Yesterday I was working at the hotel and I took the phone. Hello, this is James at the Perry Hotel and there is a guest from all the way from New York. Tell me, are you doing something in Key West? What's going on? You know, I don't want to hear the media. I want to call the hotel directly to hear from a real person. And we try to give them a peace mind promise. That's a peaceful mind of promise to have them coming, coming to the front desk and enjoy. And again, if you want to want to Key West and finish the year 2020, Key West is the best place. Absolutely. Share the video right now so we can get some more engagement out here because uh, we got a lot of stuff to uh, talk about. Five o'clock is going down. Fight uh, for your right to be in business and don't let nothing uh, happen as far as people dictating what we got going on around here. So tomorrow when I get up in the morning, just for the record, I will be, the mayor asked me, Mayor Terry Johnson asked me, to be part of the solution, and I'm ready to be part of the solution. I'll be picking up that phone tomorrow, just so y'all know how I keep it 100 around here. And I will be calling Major uh, Mayor Johnson tomorrow and hoping to have a conversation um, with her. So she either converse with me or she not. But either way, uh, depending on the conversation, I will be headed to the podium. Maybe the conversation with her goes okay and I feel comfortable. And I'll be good to go. If not, I'll have to talk to you through the podium, through thousands of people. Right now, if you do not show up to City Hall at 5 o'clock, due to contrary belief, City Hall is open. You could go in chambers and you could speak. Whoever told you that you can't, they misinformed you. James, what we got with this young lady? Kendra Sue. Uh, Kendra Sue. To open bar, we accomplished changing the regulation from needing a food license with 50% food to just being a food License had to move. Oh, I have to move. We were shut down too long, hoping to come back and return home. Too afraid to move back now with Terry wanting to destroy the industry and not helping us unemployment. Wow. So Kendra looks like Miss Kendra was a bartender here uh, in the Keys, and based on the shutdown, she had to move out of town. And she's still timid to come back to Key West. Kendra, so, do you know how many? You know how many Kendras there are out there? There is. I knew. I know a lot of Kendras, a lot of bartender and people. Even you know European. You know, I'm from Europe. You know, European people. That's why we come to Key West to bring our skills. Kendra, I'm so sorry that you have to go. I hope. Uh, I, I wish you great good luck into your next endeavor. But when you're in the ring, you know, we're gonna talk to about Mike Tyson. You know, whatever your age you have. Whatever you see a monster in front of you, whatever I'm a tennis coach, whatever you play, whoever you play against, Miami Dolphins to, uh, to Tom Brady, you have to stay on the field and continue to believe. Go hard. Continue to go hard and continue to believe and positive. And I'm so sorry that you have to experience that. But when the floor is shaking, you have to stay. When we have hurricane, we have, can have hurricane six. You believe in that city. You believe what you do. You believe to... Usually you should trust your government, like Louis said. And if the government fails you, the street has to respond. So Kendra Sue says, you remember me, Louis. Of course I remember you, Kendra. I know who you are. I'm just letting the people know who might not know you. Because, you know, you uh, when you get over here, you go big on YouTube, world famous now. Did the podcast with Monica. Um, speaking about Monica, Mike knows, have you heard from Monica? No. Monica is what you call MIA, and it's not in Miami. She's missing in action. So, Monica, have you seen Monica? No. Missing in action. Uh, it happens sometimes. Maybe good luck uh, with the flowers. She says, see. Miss my friends at home. Thank you. JC, DJ JC said, What's the latest news? JC, the latest news is they're trying to shut uh, the city down for a curfew. And uh, if you want to oppose that, I need everybody to pull up. The city hall said, You're not with it. So uh, make sure that, uh, you know, you, you let your voices be heard because yeah. the power goes to the people. Also, uh, and everybody watching worldwide, we encourage you to come down here for New Year's Eve. 
We're wide open. There's no shutdown on US-1 in any which way, shape, form, or fashion. You still sell in rooms, right? You had 100%. We do. We do. We do. And I have a question, you know, maybe for yeah. the podcast, if I can join. Yeah. Whatever you are in New York, please let us know if you are going to celebrate New Year's Eve in, your, in New York, in Times Square, in Miami. If I told you that Times Square is shut down and no New Year's Eve, you know what? We have to, we have to celebrate that to finish 2020 in a good note Absolutely. and to start 2021 in a good note. Absolutely. So uh, Kendra says this week. So uh, Kendra, can you give me a check on how the weather's looking and what city you're in right now? So come on in if you got any questions. Uh, bottom line, if you're just coming in, they're trying to impose a curfew for New Year's weekend in, in Key West, and it's going to be up at 5 o'clock at City Hall tomorrow. Anybody who works in the entertainment business, service industry, and hotel need to pull up. We'll space out, but if we got to have 700, we just got to have 700. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll space out. We'll mask up. We'll do all that. But and we have power going to go to the people, continue to go to the people, yeah. stand up, and enough of the foolishness. Who is Michael Knowles? Okay. We got ooh, hmm. Gary Ferguson. Gary, how you doing, sir? Ralph uh, Placinia. Big bodyguard ace. Ralph, Ralph, give me a little uh, temperature on, on where you at, what city you in, and what the weather looking like. Uh, we have JC uh, T N N E, and she says no curfew. Uh, so if you uh, if you're not supporting the curfew, please let it be known out here on the podcast that you're not with any curfew in any which way, shape, form, or fashion in the concrete public. You're not going for it. Uh, Mick Reed. Mick Reed. Mick, I need you to pull up, Bubba. I really need you to pull up tomorrow at five o'clock and bring as many people uh, from your business over there because they're trying to kill us right now. Straight uh, up. Kendra Sue Cross. She said, "Ocean City, MD." Governor shut us down at 10 p.m. Okay. And she said, I managed to get a managing bartender position. And now my bar has to close in December. It's insanity. Okay. This is why it's important to vote and vote people out of office. So, for example, if this person, whoever it is, has one way of uh, looking at things and they won't listen to the majority of people, you get out there. And you vote them out. What happened to the mayor in the county? She ain't listened to the people. She kept turning up. She kept cutting up. She would uh, listen to the business people. A perfect storm happened. And the people got fed up. The people spoke. And then they all went down one uh, ticket down, up and down the keys of Marathon. All that Republican ticket turned up. And she was removed from office from a gentleman who did not campaign campaign one day because he was in the hospital the whole time. So that means if I if I ran up, I would have crushed her. If anybody with a name would have crushed her, why? You didn't listen to the people. And if you continue not to listen to the people, they might not get with you today, tomorrow, but eventually your ticket will get punched. Yeah. Kendra Sue, what we got over here? Um, Big James, what we got right here? No support for shutdowns and curfew. I've never fought uh, hard as now. Okay. So let me explain something to y'all about curfews in, in Key West. Okay. So if you want COVID cases to increase, by all means, pass a curfew. Let me re repeat that very slow so we can get to the meats and potatoes. If you want COVID cases to go up, not down, go up, then by putting a curfew in place, you will accomplish that. So anybody at City Hall that wants more COVID cases, pass a curfew. I guarantee you on everything I love, you're going to have more cases. Now, you're going to ask me why is that. I'm going to explain that, uh, why it is. Number one, application for shutting down US-1 has been declined. Uh, you will not shut US-1. When you don't shut US-1 now, what happens? Everybody is welcome to come. Mm -hmm. you, did, did you put any restrictions on people coming? To the hotel, you sell selling rooms yeah. until you at yeah, 100%, right? As long as you come with a mask. Okay, so there's no restrictions of coming now. You can't put a, uh, uh, a a roadblock over there. You can't have state troopers coming. State troopers ain't coming. The sheriff ain't shutting. Ain't nobody shutting nothing down. So that means people are, are coming, right? So no matter with passing a curfew or not, people, people not are still coming, yeah. right? So that's number one. Remember, people are still coming. So let's say you put a curfew in place, right? Whatever time the curfew is. You, you, you got to get off the street. Hey, get off the street is curfew. That's no problem. I'm going to go to the Perry. I got a nice suite out there. So the occupancy in my room is 
four people. Now I'm going to have 42 people in the room because I'm going to have a party over there. 42 people in the room all turned up going in. So I said, okay, I live at, I, I, I live, um, I live uh, over uh, on Stack Island. I got a three-bedroom. What's the occupancy over there? Oh, about six people. I got 75 people now. That would have been 75 people would have been downtown spread out all over Duval Street. Now you put 75. So ready? It's like hitting the bell. Bing, bing, bing. Every time one of them 75 people got, bing, COVID, 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 COVID. Oh, whatever. That's what happened. So if you want to add to the count, straight up to the ceiling, all the way, like Fat Joe, all the way up. Pass a curfew, I guarantee you, you're going to increase numbers. Now, didn't they tell me to be part of the solution? Not the problem. Right. Yeah, didn't yeah. they say that? Okay, so now you don't have to go to school. You don't have to, you know, uh, have a PhD. So don't we have one of the longest streets in the world on Duval Street? The it's long stretch. Right? Okay. Right. It's, it's, it's very uh, so, long, right? It's one of the longest streets in the world, right? So if you shut down the, the street, right? Not a curfew, shut down the street, right? That means people could move off a sidewalk because guess what? Have you been to the sidewalk on Duval lately? It's about this big. If you measure it, you won't get six feet. It's impossible for you to space out six feet because the sidewalk ain't six feet. So it's, it's mathematics, right? So now, guess what? The sidewalk on this side and the sidewalk on this side is way, way longer than six feet. It's a big space. So then guess what? People will spread out. Uh, they got the mask. We got a mask mandate, which is fine. I don't have a problem with the mask. So people will space out because they got to go somewhere. And if you kick them off Duval Street, they're going to turn up. So James at the hotel, we have 44. Uh, chances of COVID cases, 44 jammed up in a, in a place that's not all the way ventilated. Big problem. Stock Island, three bedroom. They got they shut the whole block down, 75 people. Next day, you know, Big Mike pulled up the Key Haven at the Key Haven MTV house. They had 192 people over there turned up. Why? Because you didn't want them spread out. So if you want to uptick COVID and, and basically have cases that multiply times two, instead of catching one case at a time, you're going to hit two at a time. You're going to get twice for the amount of money for your buck. Or oh, whatever else you're gonna do. So, uh, James, did I miss something, or do you agree, disagree? If she wants to have the hospital packed and uh, not, uh, you know, I, I have phone calls and guests wants to come again. I'm, I'm still pound to that point. I still on the phone people who wants to come, who wants to be entertained, and physically the human nature. When you go to the street, you will be physically, you know, like you say, you will do automatically your social distance. And again, like you always say, if you don't want to come to the Wall Street, if you want to go, stay at home, stay in your hotel, stay on your hotel room, stay at the pool. What's the now, point to curfew? What's now, I will tell you how not to have COVID cases. I said this before. I, I thought I was out of this, right? If you go to the bank, there's a big vault. It's the one with the, the pinwheel that spins there. <laughs> I, matter of fact, if you start making these doors for houses, whoever made these doors, you're going to make a lot of money. This thing is now for houses. You put one of those doors in your house, you spin the wheel like that, whoop, and nobody can get in there. SWAT team can't get in there. Sheriff can't get So the chances of you catching COVID are very slim because you, you, you can't even get a little bit of air in that door. Boy, you can't get through because if not, they'll be breaking but, in the bank. And Louis, I have a question for you, yes, Michael yeah. knows. Did the COVID-19 has a switch on and off? Is you can't. Uh, Mike, did, do me did, a did favor. the mayor have a switch do on me, and off? Mike, do me a favor. Turn the light off real quick. All right, turn it back on. Okay, so you see that's what we're doing again, Mike. We we gonna keep it blood raw today. Off, off. Cold, turn turn COVID off. Hold on, Mike. Hold on. Leave the COVID off for a while. All right, Mike. Turn the COVID back on. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're in the switch, I think you make a trillion on the first day. You see that? You see how the screen went? Turn off the light again, man. I'm tired of playing with you. Here we go. Ready? COVID off. We in the dark. COVID's off, man. Go ahead and turn up. Hold on, hold on. Put a curfew in. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Come on, man. Is it, is it what you want your city? Is it, is it, is it the COVID-19 stop at 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11? COVID-19, 26, 32? Yeah, what yeah. you think? You see that? Dark, right? So, so let me get this right, Mike. Though no, I mean, we you know we got a lot of power going on, you know we we got a lot of influence. But I don't think nobody could pick up a phone and say, "Hold on, um, hey, listen, uh, at nine thirty-two, 
Um, we're going to go ahead and shut the COVID off, and then we're going to be off to 3 o'clock. Now, you could say we could turn off the water, the electric. What? They cut the meter, but if you, do y'all, can y'all come up with an invention for that? So so what exactly is that resolving if you have a curfew? Does the COVID go off? At 9 p.m.? At 9.01, the, 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 the curfew take his luggage and eat the road and, then, you, and check good. out? No. Okay, so this is foolishness. Once again, I'll say it again. If you want to add to COVID, matter of fact, tomorrow, I'm going to see when I go to the city, I'm going to pull up if I have to. And I'm going to see if somebody will turn the lights off in the middle of my podium speech and say, hey, can y'all cut the lights off? We go For the meeting, we, 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 go, we go cut the COVID off. And, the, and if we speak, cut, cut, cut the, the, the mic off, you know, yeah. when you, you have to... Look, I got Chris Valdez. I'm glad Chris Valdez came on here because I'm, 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 I'm blood raw. We have a school, right? Key West High School. Right. Right. We have uh, Horse of Brian. We got Sugarloaf. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are those schools uh, open? Yep. Yeah. Did they shut the school down for COVID? Nope. Okay. Now you had some cases of COVID, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. So, but no schools been shut down. I, I, I could be mistaken, but I don't think no schools been no. shut. Because Governor said that he just he was on the news saying that he's not shutting the school. Well, guess who said it? The Madam Superintendent Terry Axford said yep. she she gonna open the school. So, can I ask you a question? Yeah. If you're able to open a school now, schools have classroom, right? Mm-hmm. So they're able to keep it moving, right? right? Why can't we keep it moving with the city if the school could do it? You have Especially with a two-mile stretch of a street. You know, if you can, uh, uh, a classroom like this, like this office, you know, the, if the kids can social distance, if the kids can have a mask, Miss Mayor, Miss Madame de Mayor, I'm sorry, I'm not from here. I'm, I'm here in Key West since 2008. I never see this before, but I have guests and tourists and local people we need to show Key West in a positive way. Uh, please don't do that. Please don't do a curfew. Let us breathe. Let the tourists breathe. It's already the end of 2020. It's very bad. Please finish the 2020 good and the business owner good, the entertainment business good, with a good mood and start 2021 in a good note. Okay. Also, to those people that have not had the COVID, you're around the corner. you on your way to making it to the vaccine. So if you don't get the COVID and they have the the pre-trials for the vaccine and then that goes well, then you actually get a dose of the vaccine, you scored 100%. Some people not here to tell us, you know, uh, anything more because they didn't make it, unfortunately. So we're not trying to have any issue. So now it brings me to my next point. The mass, uh, the mass mandate that we have, right? Unfortunately, unless Mike, do we have a budget in the city to hire 500 more code enforcement officers and 500 police? Do we have such a budget? I don't believe so. Okay, so unless somebody came and dropped the you know a billion dollars off to the city, say they go ahead, some people, we don't have manpower to enforce masks to everybody. Because right now, if you walk the dog around the the, the sidewalk, you have to wear a mask. Now nobody's going to go over there and mess with you, right? You know that's just they just want to make sure people mask up, which I'm 100% with people masking up. But unfortunately, you can't go down to Duval Street and have everybody uh, have an enforcement on every person that's there. It's not going to happen today, uh, tomorrow, New Year's Eve, St. Patrick's Day, spring break. It's just not going to happen. So we just don't have the enforcement. So let's use the enforcement that we have to let people know, hey, welcome to Key West. We have a mask ordinance. We need you to put on your mask at all times whenever you're there is street. sign. There is sign everywhere. You know, as soon as you arrive, you know, there is signs. And, 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 and I had a conversation with uh, Commissioner Kaufman, who's going to uh, was going to walk on the streets with me and see what's going on. But he had to postpone that uh, appointment. So I, please step out of the office and hit the streets to see what's really going on. But uh, James, I think you're still enjoying that off and on switch with the light. I think you like it's, that. That's uh, pretty much to prove the point. You know the. Is the White House is uh, you know whatever is the White House now they they, they turn the switch off at you know yeah, it's all correct. all around the world from Paris when I come from from China from a- anywhere around the world we have to deal like AIDS you know the way that we did, uh, we deal with AIDS Magic Johnson deal with AIDS you know all, we need that's our new we have to live with it we have to live with it and what is the best way to live with it that little bottle to clean your hands and that mask if we all do. And Ms. the Mayor, Madam the Mayor, you always say we have enough PPE. We are not in in in, in a, a third country. It's America. Is it China? It, did I ask you a question, guys? Are we in America or in China? Is it is it 
a cowboy. Is it a cowboy or someone who walk? Is it the, we are in America, guys. He's not in socialist country when I come from back home in Europe. You know, America, America has to fight. As Mike Tyson showed this week on the ring, whatever your age, whatever yeah, people, up. don't listen to the naysayer. Go to the ring. Even if it's two, three, four rounds, show, train, and focus and believe in yourself. Absolutely. I got Pamela Hersey asking me a question. Where's your mask? My mask is right here. Thank you for asking. Temperature, Pamela. Where's your, where's your jacket? Because I know you got to be cold up there. He Minnesota. says 22. Huh? 22. 22? Uh, Mike knows who else we got on there. Okay. Uh, hold on for one second. Henry G. Franklin. Hey, Henry. How are you doing? Okay. Anna Hillman. Hey, Anna. Uh, Donnell Henderson. Donnell, my man. Uh, that's going to be it. Okay. So those of y'all that are coming on here late, hit the notification button right over here. Boop! Those of y'all watching worldwide on YouTube, hit the subscribe button right over here. Boop! So what we're doing is we're talking about curfew. Tomorrow's going down at City Hall. We need 700 people to show up. We're going to distance. We're going to wear a mask, but we still need the people to support because we're not in favor of any curfew. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go in my sponsors right now, and then we're going to conclude. Thank you for all the love. Long day. Uh, I will be calling the mayor tomorrow to try to have a one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation. Um, and I might be at the podium tomorrow, but I'm not going uh, I'm not gonna hold back. Who is Mike Knows? What you got? Well, I, I, I got a question for you, Louie. Yeah. Why is it that it's New Year's Eve, and why is it that she's skipping Christmas? And then is there, my other question is, we passed by Baby Park. Obviously, we don't know if it's Christmas parade this year or not. So, what's the fuck? It's year? not a Christmas uh, parade. So, uh, another thing is, and I'm glad you brought that point up. Right. Which is the conch drop. Obviously, we would love to have a conch drop. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do. Because why? Because 5,000 people will be shoulder to shoulder. So, we understand that. We would love to have a Christmas parade, but you don't mm -hmm. want to have, you know, 500, 600,000 people together. We would love CNN to broadcast live from Suchi uh, coming down from the shoe. Unfortunately, we ain't going to be doing it. But please don't keep continue to push the issue. We already given many concessions. We we, we, we threw compromise. We want to put your feet to the fire, and we don't want uh, a curfew. Now, if you want to add the COVID cases, go ahead and do a curfew. I guarantee you, you add to the, the problem, not the solution. Thank you, Florida Keys Injury. Lawyers, accent, lawyers in the keys. Go to FloridaKeysInjury.com. Locals taking care of locals at 302 Southern Street. Advanced Urgent Care, Key West Marathon, and Key Largo. Man, it's serious treatment out there. Test and treat. And now they have free rapid testing coming up. So that is absolutely uh, lovely. And go to TheKeysCares.com and check out the affordable health care they got going on. Naughty Vapes, the number one vape shop. In Key West, right across the street from the fire department, always take care of local military, offering 10% discount. Go to the Facebook page right now, Naughty Vapes. And when you go to the store, tell them Louis C. the mayor sent you. Mike knows, uh, last time I checked, I thought we was back to the one human family, but I'm, I don't think we're, we're there. What's going on with the one human family, Jim? One divided uh, family. We don't want to be one human jail. There is no guidelines for this. Uh, I don't know where the... the, the, the the people at the city hall think there is no guidelines. We all, we all together. There is no chapter one, chapter two. We have to be like you say. It's a hurricane, category six. It's a Netflix episode. We have to stay. Why shut down the TV? Continue to watch the episode. Continue to watch. Don't shut the entire room. Continue to continue to I'll, have I'll Key West on. I'll start it up very easy for you. Let me put my sunglasses on. Key West is on. Don't turn it off. If you're going to have something for the city of Key West, whether it be a curfew, it needs to be for everyone. It can't be for one segment of the community. All right, this is what we just said to one human family. So either shut the whole city down completely or do not shut anything down. You can't have it halfway. And the mayor's one vote, everybody has one vote. You have to stand up and you got to flex your muscles and your voices have to be heard. You might have to scream and holler. You might have to do it. Nobody wants to scream and holler. We just want to get along and keep it moving. But this is an injustice of what they're trying to do with this curfew. And one person can't dictate a whole city. This is run off the power to the people. Once again, let it be known. 
that we do not support a curfew in any which way, shape, form, or fashion. Not a three in the morning curfew, not a 218, not a 105, none of that. We want the city to be left open and control your household. If James wants to go to a party somewhere and he wants to be partake in it and he know that he's taking a risk, this man is grown, he's not a baby. Let him do what he needs to do. If you don't want to have no chance of catching the COVID, buy you one of them back doors. Like I told you, put a pinwheel on it, you'll never have a problem. And today we had to put the lights off and on to tell you that COVID does it not. You have turn to off. keep Key West on. Don't turn off Key West. Key Five West. o'clock, pull up the city hall. Call your city commissioners. Key West Let on. your voices be heard. Don't be intimidated. Don't be bullied. Step and on. stand up. Stand up for your right to party, like the Beastie Boys said. Mike knows anybody else before we get out of here? Apparently her she say, okay, I will fly in. And then she says... Uh, you don't, you, don't, to... you don't want me there. Mikey Story. Mikey Story. Big Mike. Uh, Vic Furhees. Vic, what is going on, Slick? Um, and that's it. Okay. So, um, see what we got out here? We got all type of masks. We bleed red and gray. If you still part of the uh, problem and you ain't part of the solution, we don't want nowhere uh, you to be around us. We're going to make it happen. I will be calling the mayor tomorrow. Madam Mayor, if you hear this, I'll be calling tomorrow. Hopefully, we could have a little conversation. If not, I'm turning up at the podium uh, fast and furious like the movie. Ha! <laughs>